presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to John in Orlando. Hey, John, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom, good afternoon to you. How are you? I'm doing great, man. I want to thank you, first of all, before I ask you about the sauce, uh, you and Tim Board and all the gang at TFNN, I had a really, really good year after the October call you guys made. My 401k is up 72%. Congratulations, man. A uh, couple of things I made with Coinbase and other stocks that I made, and I've had a good, good year. And we appreciate you growling and prowling with us, man. That's a beautiful thing. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great year, folks. 2024 coming at us, man. You are what you believe you are. I, figured, I wanted to start the year off with this card because this is where it's at. Humans are powerful magicians. You have the power to make yourself what you are right now, but it's not your reasoning mind that controls your power. It's what you believe. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 99, NASDAQ off 321, S&P's down 53. Gold, gold contract down $2.50, trading at 2,069 an ounce. We have silver off 20 cents, $23.88 an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck 15. Trading out at one at $70.50. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note, trading down 19 ticks, 112.09. The 30 year down a full point, plus five ticks at 123.10, 123.25 rather, and King Dollar. King Dollar's up 851 ticks, trading out at 102, 182, Euro 109, yen at one. 41 British pound at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, people were sneaking out of the market on Friday. You're going to be able to see this on the volume expansion on the way down on Friday. And this was quite a move because this actually happened at the end of the day, folks, because when we were on the air, the volume was still light. Meaning, you know, the last 10, 15 minutes. This, this got down in the last 10, 15 minutes. You can see that acceleration on the way down, which is 122 million as we rounded that top up there. So now what you have is that you're down at 64 million, you're down four and a half bucks. You get two different areas here. You know, when we went topside, well, <laughs> topside quite a while, uh, where I'm going to bring you right now is just these high volume. Uh, the, the first one is, we're like, yeah, we, we had come down you know, a week and a half ago. That had some volume there, but I, I think the, the bigger one is going to be when we actually broke top side there, which is at 470, you're talking about a four, is that a 454? Yeah, it's a, four, it's a 454. Is that, uh, I went to the eye doctor this morning too, folks. I'm getting new glasses. I'm going to move these screens closer too. That's what I have to do. Anyway, um, that's kind of strange right there. That's where this probably is going to go into. So we'll see how the volume contracts as we get into it. Right now, there's uh, absolutely zero fear out here, for sure. I'll show you that in a second. If we go look at the queues, we'll take a look at the queues. The queues, you know, get wide price spread going for them. The queues broke a swing point. Now, they're going to break that in volume. It looks to me like we're going to do the volume. Um, we're at 43 million. This will, this will do 10 million coming into the close. So you're breaking that swing with volume. That sets up, and the cues, it sets up a lower price because there's no, what we're doing right now is we're going into the same place that I was talking about, but if we do the 64 million, a 54 million, that means you're coming into the same area with the same amount of volume that we went up on. And what would happen there is that, no, I'll just blow it apart and go to the next level. We take a look at the notes and bonds. They're all, 
you know, that dollar bouncing, and well, first of the year, you know, you get, you get a million different things happening. Um, 1.2 million contracts. Now, the 1.2 million contracts on the 10 year, we're, we're down 18 ticks. You're 3.9, 3.7 was established last week, but you can see what we're doing here. You're gonna need a lot more volume inside the bond market to blow that apart because you're coming into 2.3 million as well as 3.1 million. You know, so yeah, I can get down a little bit more, but there's still not enough selling inside of that market to go to lower price. Gold contract, we take a look at the gold contract, that still wants higher price. What's intriguing, of course, is that, you know, you have the uh, dollar down so dramatically and uh, up so dramatically and gold's holding us home. But I'm sure that's because of the Middle East. You got, now we're talking just political stuff that's keeping gold up versus the actual um, store value. Because the store value is there too because of inflation, folks. Uh, so gold's backing down, backing down with light volume. And then we go into the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. This, and this is what we have to get as to where this dollar wants to go. Because it's been a straight line move down. And then if we take, I'm gonna, first I'm gonna take the whole move. So I take the whole move and do a 0.382. You're at the 103 area. Yeah, 103 area. That's one way of looking at it. Then if we take it, I suspect the 103 is going to be game. Because if I just take the, the last leg, that's just not enough. The last leg, you're already, you're over 0.382. Yeah, I'm going to go with the, I'm going to go with the, uh, that 10. Let me get this straight again. 103 what? So we take a look at this. I'll do the whole move. 103, 172. Yeah, so that's about 1,000 points, 1,000 ticks away from where we are right now. And when we're talking about the aspect of uh, fear in the marketplace, we don't have it. Uh, take a look at this. In fact, it's just the opposite because what you, what you had happen at about 10.30 this morning, this is the tick index, right? And so normally you're looking for, you know, minus, minus. We only had a minus 1,079. We had a plus 1,300, man. So forget it. You know, that means we want lower prices are going to continue at us. And then if we take a look at the trend, it's the same deal. The trend's laying out at 9.5. And that's just 9.5 saying, hey, man. No one's worried about anything, and we know how this goes. In order to basically come into some kind of a low, you got you need worry in the marketplace. And right now, there's zero. And I can I, I can listen. I get that. I get that. Big run up. People want to take money. Apple Apple is in trouble, man. Apple, you know, the Nasdaq. That's what's taking that uh, south and keeping it south. Look at that expansion, man. Apple's in this lower range right now. So Apple's down uh, eight and a half dollars. You know, 183, 175's game with Apple. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. We'll be talking markets uh, 2024. Dow down 82, NASDAQ off 326, S&P's off 53. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Call now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industries right now trading down 70. Got the NASDAQ off 310. SPs are off 50. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, Master uh, uh, the Opening Call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under featured content. It's going to say you're going to see the opening call, subscribe a webinar. Well, we're going to bring that down. But if you just hit that, what you're going to be able to do. Yes, what you're going to be able to do is you're going to hit subscribe and you're going to get two different things. You're going to get the newsletter. It's only $149 for a month. For six months, it's $6.95, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you get a full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $592, or 33%. And what you will also get here, okay, you're going to get a great newsletter. But you're also going to get the webinars that Basil has done because they're all laid out right on the page. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks, okay? So as you subscribe, if it works for you, awesome. You get the great newsletter. You get all the archives. If it doesn't work for you for some reason, just give us a, an email, 28th, 29th day. You get your money back, and you still have got a great newsletter, plus the archive, so you understand how Basil looks at the market each and every day. Happy New Year, Basil. And a very happy New Year to huh. you, Tom, and to the whole TFNN uh, yeah. staff and all our hosts, and certainly to our listeners, may it be a really healthy and rewarding 2024. That's a fact. Amen. I like yes. that, man. I like that. So, where do you want to start? So, I thought I'd just review a little bit of what I was looking at the last few days of uh, the month, of last month, okay. uh, 2023. And what I was saying is that every single thing that I look at, all the charts on the daily, not the weeklies, and I'll talk about that in a moment, but the daily charts all look to me like they overextended based on at least two of my many indicators, and those indicators have worked really well for me. So I said that we've got to become a little careful. We are long, but on Friday, we started uh, two short positions. One was in the Dow, even though I, the signal that I had wasn't exactly like the one in August the 1st. I had on balance volume reversal plus the DOG it gave me a 
that's the one to one short, gave me a signal to say, hey, this should be coming, the, the, the Dow should turn right here and it should be very strong to the downside. This has some of the characteristics. So let me go through them. So in the Dow, the daily chart, still strong. I just wanted to show this for a moment because in the Chapman Wave, we're looking for the lowest low bar count each successively higher peak. I'm anticipating that a buy signal goes to a buy mode, meaning it's upgraded and it should go to at least four higher peaks. I alphabetize them sequentially. A, the next peak is B, then C, then D. But it's a D that other things can happen. So it's your, it's the, the chart's obligation. Once it's in a buy mode, to go to at least a D, the fourth highest peak. It can do other things. Now, one of the things I spoke about, and I think it was last week you spoke to me, you said, what, tell me about that instant restart at D. And I said to you, it happens in very strong markets where there's a very strong move to the upside. We get to that fourth highest peak. And then instead of just breaking down, what happens within three bars, it goes to a higher high. And right at that time, I have an alternate count that says the next peak is E, but it could also be an A, a brand new buy signal. So the instant restart is the only time that almost immediately you can get a signal that says it's so powerful that it can go to another four higher peaks. Well, it went to E, which is E slash A. Then it went to F, which gave that big, strong red candle. Remember, that was at Wednesday. Yes. We'd actually gone short the uh, the SMHs via the SOXS, and we got a really nice single-day pullback, and then we covered everything. And then the the market continued higher. So what happened is last week we made a G slash C. In other words, we got to the uh, sixth highest peak. There's never, there's never an H. So at that point, you have to think, well, what's going on? Am I over the last year and a half, particularly the last six months, there have been so many peak Gs that had what I call a G slash C, an alternate account that said, don't get, don't get too sure about things right now because there could be a little bit of a pullback and then a momentary punch to a slightly higher high, which gives you D, and then you've got to be careful. So as I say, we, we are short, the, we, we've been long the Dow from um, March of 2020, uh, long from the October low, we've got both the diamonds and the three times long. But at the same time, on a very short term basis, I said, you know, I just everything I'm looking at suggests that we've got a, some kind of a turnaround. So we are short the Dow. But look at this weekly candle. So there's a kind of a dichotomy here between short term, many, many of the charts are showing the very, really serious signs of being overbought, meaning they should digest. It doesn't mean they have to collapse, just a digestive sideways to down move. But those weekly charts are really strong. So until this closing Friday, I need the full week to look at it. It's made a new higher high. That means both the... Um, Weekly and the daily, sorry, the weekly and the monthly. You remember I was speaking to you and I was saying, if all of January, there is no new higher high, even by one penny above the December high, then we've made a peak. But if there is a move that goes even just one penny above December's high, we've extended this leg C. That means you can't get to peak C until all of February. You can't get a leg D until March, and you can't get um, a peak D until April. So that's very bullish Which on I the think we did chart. this morning, didn't we? Do, I think we and what did we do this morning? Uh, we went to a higher high. Right, yes. right, okay. Yes, it's a, it's a <laughs> technique that took me right. years to develop, and I, 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 could, I could never believe that it was – that it gave these kind of readings. Anyway, so now we're short, but this is just the start. I just, we've got to be a little careful here because there's this, the Dow is really the Dow 30. It's, it's really not an industrial anymore. So it's got a mix. So that's a little different. And you can even see in the XLF today, the final, we are still along, where did that go? Uh, Bank of America, uh, that, that sector, and it's very important that this sector, that the financials, Hold quite well. You can see, look, the financials are holding nicely. The XLF is yeah. actually up five cents. But this is the issue. As you and I have discussed for, forever, that where the semis go, the general market tends to follow. And I did all my homework on the semiconductors, and I said, okay, um, Friday we went short, but we went short via going along the SOXS. That's a, an ETF that is a short ETF, but you buy it, and you don't think you don't have to go short or anything like that. It goes short for you. So yes. you buy it. And if it moves up, that means the market's going down. So we've got uh, the SOXS. Uh, we got it the day after the high. And one of the things I, I used um, 
this is just one of the many techniques that I use, but this one to me is really important. And you can see, um, here's the Dow. This is the on balance volume. Here is the high that was made, August the 1st, where we went short. And you can see, look, it went exactly, you know, you've got algorithms, you've got all sorts of things, you've got every single technique in the book. And the most simplest thing of all I found is on balance volume. That's Joe Granville's on balance volume. It's a running total of prices. If it closes, if the bar closes up, you add it to the running total. If it closes down, you, you, you uh, subtract it. So here we've made a top. So the SMHs gave us a signal just as the Dow did. And look how sharply they've turned down. So we've got about a 60% gain so far on the SOXS. But we'll see what happens. But this is the signal that gave it to us. And folks, it's very easy to get his newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right at the featured content where it just says Basil Chapman. Just hit that button. Basil, have a great one. Stay fun. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. Stay right there, you folks. Might Come think right back. That if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. It's Dow. <clears throat> Dow right now down 80. We get the NASDAQ off 308. S&Ps are off 50. Let's get over to our man, Tim Ord, as we kick off 2024. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day at Ord, O-R-D hyphen Oracle.com. That's Ord hyphen Oracle.com. Tim Ord, Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year to you, too. <laughs> so, um, actually, I sent over some charts. Oh, you get I got them all. Seven by a chance. 
This is going to be a beauty, folks. I can't wait to hear this one, man. <laughs> right. Did, did you get chart number seven, though? I did. Yes, I did. All right. All right. So, any about, I don't know, 10 minutes ago, I can't I don't know, a few minutes ago, I sent out a, 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 a notice or an update, alert, yeah. I guess. We're going into law. Uh, we're going along on the SPX on tonight's close, and the only reason why I'm doing that is it's chart seven here. Okay, chart, now that's why that's why uh, I was chart, so excited to have you. Well, I'm always excited to have you on, but as soon as I saw that come across, I says, "Okay, let me see what this is now." Okay, <laughs> it's just kind of a obscure stuff, but anyhow, it worked over the years. But anyhow, the bottom window is a 10-day arms. Okay, Tim, Tim, I'm sorry. Which one, which chart do you want me to start with? Seven? Uh, which? Yeah, chart with seven. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay. All right. Anyhow, I sent out an alert just a few minutes ago, yes. five, ten minutes ago. And the reason why I sent this alert because of this chart. And uh, it, there's some other stuff going on on the bigger time frames, and we'll cover it. But uh, usually when you get the trend up around 1.2, you don't really – you're getting close to some sort of a low. Okay. It doesn't mean it has to be the same day, whatever. But what really has worked over the past – actually several years, is when the market's up five days in a row, or six or seven, but at least up five days in a row, the market's usually higher 83% of the time within five days. Um, so anyhow, we have been we were up five days going into December 28th, and we fell, uh, fell back a couple of days, but it shouldn't be the final high. I uh, see. So I'm, I'm thinking either today's a low or possibly tomorrow I'll turn around Tuesday. Okay. But normally when you get five days up in a row, the market will be higher within five days. And a lot of times it's over a percent, sometimes percent and a half. So, okay. so I'm thinking the next rally up, we're probably going to hit new highs and stuff. So okay. um, that's that's the reason why I went long on tonight's close. So wherever tonight's close is is where I'm long. So we'll I like see how it. that works out. Okay, good. Good. I get it. Right. Because we, right. we certainly so, so, certainly don't have fear in the market right now. With, right? Not a lot. And no. I, I'm thinking what the pattern's going to form here. You know, uh, if you do a Fibonacci relationship today on today's decline, we're over 61.8% to the downside. So I'm thinking this is probably three drives to a top pattern. So we, we already have two lows. If today or tomorrow is a low, and we had a low back on, you know, that red – that red candle there, yes. you know what, seven seven days ago. That's right. That's low one. Today's low two. Yeah. Uh, or uh, and we have we make a higher high, then that'd be three drives to a higher high. Then a lot of times, that's why I'm thinking it's going to happen here. Okay. It's not going to be a long term rise up. I think it's going to be a higher high than. We're going to probably start entering into some sort of a consolidation phase uh, through January. Which would make but, sense. Uh, no, that's pretty cool. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay. All right. So, anyhow, so it's, it's maybe a 2 3% trade. It's all nothing huge. Yep. Okay, start chart, chart number one. Okay. I mean, we've gone over this so many times since that's all November. Right. That's all right. But, but it's just uh, kind of review. Yep. On October 27th, we hit. Uh, uh, the summation index hit 813, and for a bullish imminent term uh, trigger to, to occur, the summation has to go below minus 700, which, which is like a selling climax. Yep. Then within two, within around two months, it has to go above plus 1,000 uh, to show a sign of strength, and that's what happens at imminent term lows. And I marked all those imminent term lows going back to 2007, wherever it is. And on uh, uh, December 27th, exactly two months, uh, we got above uh, plus 1,000. And uh, this is the date there is, uh, looks like uh, December 28th, whatever, and we're at uh, 1,078. But anyhow, there's a high probability the next 12 months will be up because of this indicator. Yes. And they really work pretty, pretty good. Has there been failures? Not many. But if you go back 50 years, you probably could find some. Okay. But going back to the least uh, last, what, 10, 15 years, there's none. So, uh, so anyhow, that's bullish air midterm. Let's flip to chart two. Okay. Uh, chart two, uh, the middle window is the uh, SPX VIX ratio. And it kind of shows what's going on in here. We're, we're starting to get a divergence. And uh, the pink areas show the times when the S&P was making higher highs in this ratio, 
It was making lower highs, and it happened back in um, December of 2022. You got a minor high, went, market went down. You got another one in July of, of this year, late July, early August, where the SPs were going higher. Uh, the ratio kind of went sideways, but if you look at the VIX, which is top window, it actually did make lower highs or higher, uh, yeah, lower lower highs. So anyhow, it was making higher lows as uh, the SPs were making higher highs and acid verges. And we got one right now where the SPs over the last couple of weeks is making higher highs, and this ratio is also uh, making lower highs. So that's why I'm saying probably the next rally on the SPs, we hit another new high, and this ratio does not hit a new high, then we're probably going to have some sort of a worthwhile consolidation in July or oh, in, in, in January. January. Okay. Cool. How big a one? Uh, yeah, I don't know. All we'll right. have to wait and see. You know, I don't have a crystal ball. Yeah. But uh, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty interesting sign. today, Tim. Uh-huh. You know, we had the VIX get up to 1423, you know, but it, it has already given up. It's only a 1344 right now. It gave up quite a bit of it, man. So it's kind of intriguing, actually. You know? Yeah, it's, yeah I, I watched that, too. It really blasted open yeah. on that this morning. It really went up. Yeah. Then it kind of came back. It's still up. Uh, yeah. You know, there's a little divergence here. You know, it's, sometimes I play these short-term trades, and sometimes you get spanked a little bit. And so I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to be all right in this this one, but uh, yeah. I think it's a two three percent trade. So I'm thinking I'm taking it. If it was one percent or less, I think I, I no no. I, yeah, listen, I get it. it. I you know I, I I'm so I can tell you I'm surprised that you know I mean the Dow Industrials actually went positive today at one point. So it's like there's not that a lot. There's you know the S and P that well the the Nasdaq's a different animal, man. I mean the Apple's taking the Nasdaq south in a monster way. Um, but, you know, <laughs> that Dow Industrials went uh, green. <laughs> it's like, really? <laughs> but it did. You know, yeah. It's red now, but it went yeah, green. The, you know? Yeah, there's not a lot of stocks in it. You know, who knows? I don't even right. pay attention to that thing right. anymore. Right. NASDAQ's kind of important. But, uh, yep. hey, yeah, this, this is uh, uh, the SPX VIX ratio is giving uh, kind of a warning sign. Okay. Um, you want to go to chart three? We're almost out of time, I know. Yeah, sure. we'll get, I get chart three here. Yeah, let's just let's just wait for a second. We'll start chart three, folks, as soon as we come back. And don't forget, you can get hold of Tim. You can get his newsletter at ord, O-R-D, hyphen oracle.com. That's ord, hyphen oracle.com. We have the Dow Industrials right now down 75, NASDAQ off 314, S&P's off 51. Tim and I are going to be coming right back, folks. Stay right there. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. 
Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Oy, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growl and a problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 77, Nasdaq's off 314, S&P's are down 51, and I have, uh, let's see. I think I get shot three up, Tim. Is that right? Over yeah, yeah, chart three. Yes, okay. That's what I have. Yes. All right. So uh, uh, chart two is the SPX VIX ratio. Chart three is the BIX to BVIX ratio. Yes. And uh, these ratios on the VIX seem to work pretty well. And they kind of gives you a head, heads up. Um, the, the time that What's going on right now, the S&Ps are making higher high. If you look at back in July, which that previous pink area, yes. the S&Ps were making higher highs. That ratio is just going straight up. We got something similar here going here. Uh, we got the S&Ps making higher highs, and this ratio is making lower highs. So something's coming at us probably, you know, in the next couple of weeks, whatever. You know, I don't think it's t uh, today. I don't think this is a, the one to catch to the short side here, because I think okay. you know, as of chart seven, we're thinking we're going to, but anyhow, this is a warning sign that we're probably hitting some sort of a consolidation sometime, you know, it's starting to look like maybe mid-January or something, you know, not this week, uh, maybe next week, uh, we'll have to wait and see. So that's two different ratios showing kind of a, a sign yes. that uh, the January may not be an up month, I'll put it that way. So let's chart, let's go to chart four. Okay. Yeah, now this is the VIX VIX ratio, also, but it's on the weekly time frame. Right. So this is looks so, so this looks at the bigger trend. So you know if we do get a a, a January pullback sometime to say second half of January, but this ratio here, you know, is not showing any divergence at all. So that next decline we may have in January at some point. You probably want to buy it because the bigger trend, according to the weekly VIX VIX ratio, is making lower lows as the SP is making higher highs, and that's the positive divergence. So we're not having any major divergence on the bigger time frames yet. This kind of goes along with our, uh, you know, the uh, summation index hitting below minus 700, rallying to plus 1,000. Yes. This is another way to look at the market on the bigger time frame. Okay. So, nice. Well, if we get. Yeah, so we get a slap in the face, say, the second week in, in January. This is one of the reasons why you should probably buy it. Uh, cause nice. This ratio is not showing any, any yep. deterioration on the bigger time frames. So that that uh, leans bullish. So uh, we got five minutes left. All right. Yep. Let's go to chart five. Okay. And uh, this uh, it's hard to make charts really legible. Um, and I, I try to break them down where you can kind of look at them, see what's going on. And this chart, you know, the middle window is the Sprout Gold Trust discount premium ratio. Yes. And so a, a Sprout Gold Trust is actually you can buy physical gold through this trust. 
And so uh, every time, and, and the middle window there shows the premium and discounts of what you can buy for. And I right now, uh, anything below minus two, going back to uh, uh, looks like about 2018, you're at a, a, a short term low uh, for GDX. Wow, that's and pretty that's cool. A, okay. Yeah, so that that's the red lines, all those dotted red lines across there. And the blue lines are, are, are times when you get above uh, zero. And I just, so, I just, as you're speaking, Tim, I just put up the Bloomberg with it. And, and live right now, it's minus 2.396%. Okay, cool. I got it. Nice. Wow. Right, right. So I, I bought some options. Uh, probably should have waited a little closer to the low here. But usually this is pretty close to the lows, not saying the exact day of the lows, but you're, in, you're normally in the vicinity. So if you look at GDX and all those red lines, you can see where they came in at. It came in the October low pretty good. Came in that looks like a June low, maybe a July low uh, of the last year. The, the one in the previous year didn't work out. But they work out about 80, you know, better than 80 percent of the time it picked out the uh cold low uh it got down to like minus three percent below so you know if you get these crashes this premium thing's pretty good yeah so, this is great to know now, man again, that's that's pretty uh, wild good. yeah pretty cool yeah yeah so actually if you go back and look in and uh that shaded pink area there yeah that stayed that stayed below minus two for like six months. Okay. Um, so I'm I'm thinking that was a, a significant, a big one. You know, that, yeah, with yeah, that. a big one because the yep. sentiment was so bearish at that time. Even though the market rallied, nobody believed it was going to go anywhere. Yep. So I'm thinking that was a major low uh, that probably won't be tested for years. Be and you know it's like amazing too, Tim and folks, is that when. People get bearish on gold. They really get bearish, man. <laughs> it's, yeah. Yeah. And, it's, and according to this chart, you know. Yes. In, uh, no, that's know, why I'm digging uh, it. Right. <laughs> yeah. The market rallies now. It ain't going to go very far. And they just kept rallying. And, yeah. And so it's, and it's, uh, it's and pretty much, I think the market is a significant intermittent term low. Or actually, I think it's a longer term low. I think in um, some indicators. Uh, I, uh, yeah, here, let's flip to chart six. Okay, here we go. I got it. Right. The monthly, okay, the bottom window is the uh, weekly uh, uh, cumulative advanced decline for GDX. Yep. Next window up is the cumulative advanced or up-down volume for GDX. So it looks at the internals of what's going on in GDX. The gold stocks that are in GDX. Looks, you know, how, how many going up, how, many, how, how much volume on the up stocks and all this other stuff. So you want both those squiggly lines actually trending up. And I put a Bollinger Band on them. And normally when they're above a Bollinger Band, you got a trend that's, that's really going up. And the bottom window is advanced decline. You're at the Bollinger Band right now, but the next one up, you're still way above, or not, not way above, but you're above the Bollinger Band. As long as those two indicators on the weekly time frame can stay above the Bollinger Band, I don't have this chart shown, but the monthly really dictates the really big trends. And I have a monthly chart of the cumulative advanced decline and up-down volume. And right now, uh, both those on the monthly time frame are heading up, but still below the mid-Bollinger Band. Right. And once the monthly gets above the mid-Bollinger Band, it's really stable. It doesn't whip back and forth. So once it gets above Bollinger Bands, a lot of times it just stays above the Bollinger Band for months and sometimes years. Uh, so uh, I like to have this GDX market actually at least hold steady, if not perform, uh, to the upside over the next uh, probably about 30 days. The only reason why I'm saying 30 days, it'll probably push the monthly uh, cumulative advance decline and monthly uh, up-down volume above their mid-Bollinger bands. And when you get that, that pretty much is a, a, an all-clear sign, probably for at least over the next 12 months, that the market's going to be heading higher. So the weeklies are, are the intermittent term times. It can give you a signal that could last you know, uh, uh, several months. But the, uh, the monthlies can signal that you can get rallies for the year or even longer. And so I'm hoping that this month, GDX remains relatively strong, if not heading higher. 
And we got a lot to look forward for in 2024. You gotta love it. Yeah. Well, Tim, this is always a pleasure, of course. And you know, folks, you got something live here today, man. That's the bottom line. You got live as to why he wanted to, you know, basically thread this needle and then go along. Tim, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to speaking to you on Thursday. All right. Okay, Love man. Have a great Stay one. Stay right there, right. folks. Come right back. You see Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the market with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Dow. Dow's up three, Nasdaq's down 262, SPs are off 39. And if we go over GBTC, I mean, this is going to be. Intriguing because when this started, folks, you know, that the SEC lost the court case and they got to come back and give an answer about whether Bitcoin cash uh, spot is actually going to be legal. Uh, you can see this in GBTC. It's only a minus 1.6% now. When this started, it was a minus 30%. So you can see that trade just in itself. Um, Pretty, pretty intense. There's no doubt about that. If we look at uh, XBT, if we look at Bitcoin itself, you're going to see this, this actually popped over its highs. And this is going to be out within the week from the SEC. So we'll see where it's going to go. It's, it's up 1200 bucks right now, 1226 You know, and if the bottom line is if, if Grayscale can turn that into a ETF, um, for Grayscale in particular, uh, it's going to be a big deal, hundreds and billions of dollars. Uh, and the aspect of the public buying, because it's just not going to be Grayscale that is going to end up 
doing this. There's three or four more of the firms that are in there that are trying to get a spot ETF. Uh, but if that's what they do get, I just remember when the GLD came into existence, uh, there'll be more buy-in. No, that's, that's the bottom line because it's like, you know, this is one big casino, folks, okay? <laughs> that's, the, that's the reality out here. And if you can buy Bitcoin in a wrapper of an ETF um, for the hundreds of millions of investors out there, that's just a lot easier to do. That's, that's what it comes down to. So that is going to be out where the second, yeah, it's going to be out within a week. And I believe that the deadline is going to be next Tuesday. That's how this shakes out. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Have a great 2024. Health, happiness, prosperity. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off at 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.